give it to me hard to baby hard to baby give it to me hard to baby give it to me give it to me cookie. He's just messed up. I mean, it's good shit that. Wait, wait. I'll show you more cookie. You want to see my cookie? Want to see my cookie? And my cookie. Ooh, that's, a, that's a choc chip Body cookie. Fine. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Welcome to the third episode. The fourth episode. The third. Oh. Jesus, Jared. Again. Fail. <laughs> You're not even drunk. Even every time up, it was the wrong episode. To the fourth episode. I mean, brilliant. Of Jet Black Listening Sessions. On our panel, we welcome back Abby Nurok, Blanca Mazimela, and Pastakis, straight out of San Francisco. Silicon <laughs> Valley, baby. Are you, are you with uh, Goldfish? You guys, neighbor. No, I'm actually not with Goldfish. I'm, I'm actually chilling with Elon Musk. I'm visiting him for a while, just out of his apartment. Right. You can see the background. Yeah, oh, cool, cool. With his child, <laughs> A1X1S flat. Half Besides, of the world. Goldfish on San Diego. <laughs> Not so Sorry, yeah. Sorry, I'm mm. blind. Yeah. Has an you S. know that if you hang out, I often it's virtually hang out with Dom. I have virtual Dom outs hangouts. <laughs> <laughs> so just to just to let people know uh, that haven't seen let any episodes know. before today, what we Which do everyone, yeah. on these listening sessions <laughs> 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 we take we take an unreleased track. We play it to a panel of guests. Uh, some are here just because they're funny. Some are here because they have uh, skills the, on the dance floor. What the fuck is that supposed are, to mean? Uh, music production, <laughs> music education. Uh, and then we constructively, Specialist. respectfully crit and give our perception of the music. Mm-hmm. Um, this is all music that uh, generally these guys have not heard before. Uh, Abby is a well-known vinyl purist DJ. Blanca Slash. is a, uh, a producer, a and as well as a music theory educator. And Costa is a man of, of many things, <laughs> AKA crazy white boy, AKA produced for a whole bunch of people. Uh, um, and he's, uh, and he's our, our international. That's what he is. So, I'm running Liza. out of my drink. Oh, man. oh my gosh. Please tell me it's not <laughs> oh, tea. Are you drinking Am tea? Am I the only one having a, a sundown? No, I'm having a sundown. Sundown. I mean, that's like your sundown. third. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sundown uh, really goes down in about four hours. So I don't know about the sundown. Try and stretch it out for as long as possible. <laughs> so guys, um, how are we doing today? Cool. Wonderful. It's very talkative. Better than normal. Yeah. I did a trip to come into town and I went to Krispy Kreme and I got a Seattle coffee. Seapoint seems like it's back to normal. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I ventured out to a friend's house today illegally for Ooh. some whiskey. <laughs> and then some more whiskey. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> Blanks is drinking tea. Thank you. Thank you, Blanks. It's not tea. Yeah. It's not what tea. is it? It's, it's a Joe Big thing. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> it's moti. <laughs> uh, uh, what if he started selling tea called moti? Come on. That's Come brilliant. on. Mikasa that's presents brilliant. moti. <laughs> hey? Why Mikasa? Well, no, because we're at Mikasa. 
So there's something there. There's something there. Maybe. Okay, next. Anyway, yeah. what have you guys? Um, what have you guys been up to during lockdown? I know Costa's been producing music. Blanks has been at work in studio. Hey, you've had some releases yeah, out. Blanks. Good release. I've been I actually in, heard I've this been... cool track from Blanca. Actually, he made he made this track. I heard it last night. It's really good. Blanks is one of my favorites. I'd actually love to remix it. We'll talk about it. You know, maybe you can maybe. put it on here also. Maybe. Ooh. I'll be the only objective one. I pretend I won't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm quite excited about today's, uh, today's episode, uh, particularly because we're going in a bit of a different direction musically. Um, I, I, don't know, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to guess who this track is. Uh, as, as long as it's not... Oh, never mind. Careful what you say here. Yeah, careful. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Man. I almost said something. My career would have been over. <laughs> More than when you career. insulted Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> that was off camera, but now everyone knows. <laughs> no, I said Solomon is the greatest producer in the world. Mm -hmm. eh? I love that guy. Mm -hmm. I want to be like him mm -hmm. one day. <laughs> no, no, no. Solomon wants to be like you, boy. I know. Truth. That's what I said. Truth. Should we, so should let's, we hear it. let's hear the track, yeah? Thong. Are you guys ready? Yeah. The thong. Can you say yeah. the thong? The thong. Let yeah. me hear that thong. Give it to me hard to baby. Hard to baby. Give it to me hard to baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. Felix LeBand. <laughs> Sounds That's what I thought. very similar. When I first heard the track, I, I, he, it's probably like Michaela Fay or something. Because like, the vocal's quite 
It mm. could be Felix LeBan with a bit of pH Let, fat. Let's, um, maybe let's start with uh, your thoughts on the music. And then we'll get oh, to the, tough. we'll get to the guessing. I know afterwards. what Mark's like. Oh, we'll get to the, we'll wait, get wait. to the guessing. We'll get to the guessing. Okay, uh, wait. I know what Mark's like. Mark. We've gone into like different realms of electronica here. You know, previously we were quite straight up on the house front and we've moved into a bit of a different place. Um, mm. Is there any I'm, sexual innuendo in that track? None. I'm not feeling any <laughs> sexual. No. First thing that I not heard. Is there any sexual messages like, coming across to you? Certainly no. not. Press, press play, give it to me hard, baby. Like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, Correct. For me, it was like, whoa. But yeah. for all, the only comments that I have would probably be arrangement. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you, like it started on a like and then and then when it came in the middle it was like groovy section came in and when you I came like, <laughs> <laughs> so i feel Sorry. like there may not have been swap. sexual in innuendos in the song <laughs> but <laughs> now there are Blanca basically came in the middle <laughs> um, i'm listening so I'm, Sorry. <laughs> only if abby that was the best laugh ever <laughs> I think Abby did come in the middle. Yeah, I've been coming this whole time. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. Uh, we just got know. a like R18 rating on this. I was this, gonna uh, say geez. on this show. This That's just, this bad. just went from Facebook to you porn. Let's talk I about. I feel like I've been music. baited because I'm the only one drinking. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> okay, so the only thing would be swapping the the middle section. Yeah, uh, to just to just bring it in, like gradually, Slow. but <laughs> the but song it's so is like, <laughs> impactful. What are you referring to? Yeah, Blanca, what do you want to bring in gradually? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I really think like um, mm -hmm. for me it took me like it took me by surprise. Like when you press play and it was like straight on, give it to me harder, baby, yeah. and that's the first thing that clicked. And then as the song progressed. It actually, you know, then I got into the swing of things and it just got groovier and groovier. But yeah, mm. I think that's that's the only thing. Other than that, I feel like this is a, what's that? There's a club in Cape Town that was underground. It was called Dragon something. The Dragon Room. Dragon Room. Yeah. Yeah. But like it used to it used to open up till, till eight in the morning. Similar to... Modular. This, similar to Modular. Oh. That, that track... That's a track that you'd play right there, like just just gritty and Do you like and, the song? And nasty and just <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Have you left oh, the house okay. today? <laughs> oh. uh, Abby, what do you okay. what do you think what do you think of the song? Um, okay, so to be honest, I don't think it progressed enough. I mean, it kind of stayed stagnant on the same pace and the same lyrics and the same well, kind of thing. Stagnant's a harsh word. No, listen, I mean, it's, I love that groovy bass. Yeah. Uh, it reminded yeah. me a lot of kind of that mid-tempo, old Agoria sound, you know, that yeah, very yeah, yeah. like bouncy, down-tempo kind of sound. But yeah, like you said, Felix Labandi. Um, I liked it overall. I just didn't, it didn't like get me excited and drop me. And I know that's more housey, but mm, 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 I liked it, but it wasn't, it's not as much my favorite. Okay. Costa. It's tricky because I like that kind of stuff. Like it reminded me of Donkey Rattle, you know? Yeah. Um, by Felix LeBan. It kind of has that grittiness. I don't think there's that much, I don't want to like be, you know, from, from a production level, I can't hear like all the elements are quiet. I mean, they're like this bass, you know, snares, clap, whatever, yep. what's going on. Like it's, it's not super, cool super drums. complex. Yeah. But in a, in, in a lot of ways, that's, you know, that's sometimes how it works. And the bottom end was coming through like super nice. It felt super warm. It's felt gritty. Yep. It, like, like it's grimy, I guess. It's like some, like, it's got like a grimy sound. I don't know too much about that genre. I've never been like a huge, um, the follower of that genre, but I mean, for what it is, yeah. Um, I think it represents f for for what it is. I think the only thing is that I would, um, you see, the vo I don't know whether the vocal adds or takes away. I'm not saying the vocal's bad, but the vocal okay. makes makes the track something else. 
if there was no vocal, you wouldn't think about the vocal at all. And then the track would just be the I track. Think the vocal and gives that track the edge. Like yeah, without the vocal, the, 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 the elements and the arrangements are kind of that uh, desert kind of uh, Burning Man that's sound. That's what I'm saying. You know? That's what I'm saying. So but I was then, hoping that you, then it you becomes so the typical. Yeah. But, the, but then the vocal also, production, I uh, do more vocal production, maybe. Maybe add a little bit more to the vocal or I uh, More lyrics. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. I found the vocal, if with that grinding, bassy, dirty sound, I felt the vocals were too clean and pretty. Do you yes, know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, there we go. There it wasn't, we go. There it wasn't yeah. as varied. Like it it's, could have been a bit more tweaked or manipulated. Yeah, it feels like a, yeah, it, it, it needs to be as warped as the track itself. Yeah. So, I agree. so the, contrast is, the contrast is too heavy for me. But yeah. So obviously I played this track to you guys today, but I've listened to this track many times and maybe it grows on like, you. Like I can't get enough of it. I, like I can't stop listening to it. I fucking love this track. Do you sit on your speaker when you listen to it? <laughs> as as close to as possible. Um, I can feel that'd be quite cool. <laughs> I I really really like this track. You know you know you know you like a track when you want to hear it again. Yeah. No, it's so I want to hear it again. I want to hear it again to credit more. But see, see, the thing is, it is Abby's right. It's got to do with the vocal. The vocal is too clean for me. But having said that, you listen. I mean, to that's like also something of, that could like be uh, uh, changed in the mix. You know, contrast. Uh, like sure. like some of the elements. So, but look I, at like know, a Nina Kravitz. To... Nina Kravitz yeah. will make a weird track that has like a very unprocessed vocal, whatever. Just a random little slogan or a little whatever, whatever, and it just kind of just works with the track. Maybe it's Stylistically, I don't know. Is it yeah. is it stylist? Is it lazy? Is there a fine line between the two? Is the production not there? I don't know. The track does it work? It kind of works for me. I mean, I kind of like it. I need to hear it more. Also, tracks grow on you because now this is a mm. pop track. This is this is not a track you're going to be playing yeah. in a nightclub. It's a track you're going to be yeah. listening to on Spotify over and over again. And will I listen to it again? Sure. Will I? Yeah. And I mean, like I what I listened to now recently that I totally didn't like. And then I heard it again and again and again, and then you love it. So the first thing to grow on you, you know, the first kind of band that I thought of when I heard this was, do you remember, um, does anyone remember the band Peaches? Who's that? Is that Murgatroyd? <laughs> <laughs> and a ghost. You got ghosts running past. <laughs> Who was that tall white male that just walked into Micah's room? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Uh, at least it wasn't a tall naked white male <laughs> at least it wasn't a naked anything also oh, true also yeah. true I don't know. especially with the song that you guys have it's yeah yeah um, have you left the house? <laughs> do, does anyone remember the band peaches Walk past. <laughs> and they did it <laughs> oh okay well i got what they i came a, for and i'm out here <laughs> They going a, to the country, um, gonna get me a lot of peaches. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> that was, that was a song. Chame chameleon no, or something. No, no, you guys are completely. That was the. That was presidents of the USA. Presidents of the USA. Yes, yes, yes. I mean the band Peaches. They did a song mm -hmm. called "Fuck the Pain Away." Okay. No one. Don't remember. Nope. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I don't know. Um, that was the first maybe, um, I thought of when I heard the song. Okay. I just okay. don't know who that person was. I mean, should we? Um, <laughs> should we? Should we? Sounds should... like Schmei and Schmergatroyd. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What, so, I, I think a Blanca was. original, but now it became a, a Ryan Murgatroyd featuring Blanca Mazzamella original <laughs> when he walked in the room. Is this? Hey, is this... listen, Blanca. I bought <laughs> blanks. I bought tickets to tomorrow night your live stream or your stream. I'm gonna so, be there. Yes. Yeah. Listen. What live stream? How do, why do I know about these things? Are you on the internet? Are you, are you in East London? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in San Francisco, you moron. Look. Yeah, he didn't the target. Been sitting for an hour and a half. He didn't target his, uh, his adverts in the USA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you need to click Silicon Valley. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, obviously I can't vote, um, but I really, mm. I really do enjoy the song uh abby what would you give this out of out of 10 like try and be constructive even if it's not necessarily your taste you know she's definitely yeah, yeah. gonna do a half somewhere no. she's, she's going for a harvey that's for sure no, i'm not gonna do no, a half i'm not gonna do a half. On the halves. 
No, listen, I, I did enjoy it. It obviously isn't as much my choice of genre as I would the more techno housey stuff, yeah. but I give it a seven just because I love the baseline. I wasn't sold on the vocals. I thought that they were quite monotonous and okay. not as um, processed as I would have liked just to suit the sound. So that's me. Blanca. Yo. Um, I've... <laughs> <laughs> Look, like you're still okay. like, I can't believe you played that song. <laughs> um, um, the I reason why I'm taking publishing. What? There's, <laughs> there's three factors, okay? The yeah. one is uh, the production. Yeah. I, I think it's solid, right? Mm -hmm. from, from where it is in terms of clarity and like where everything is it's just spaced out very nicely um mm -hmm. from a production point of view it is like a very solid song but um from an arrangement point of view that's two arrangement is the second one i yep. feel like the sections can be like very like like they, there's no discernible section in the song where you can tell that okay now it's taking a breather and it's doing this and it's doing this and then it, it drops into this progresses or this prog like this this it's like it just yeah, went, yeah, went it I came think. in like this and then it just became straight and then it, it rolls so okay. it, it it rolls but you know with with that type of slowness and the groove and all of that there's so much that can be done that that you know could be arranged better that okay. thing would be <clears throat> that thing would be the i feel like it needs more vocals you know? can i tell you can I, I i mean i'm sure i'm pretty much uh paraphrasing what has been done but, but i like it because it works is a non kupiri slash co type of vocal mm. where mm -hmm. it's a bit more kind of jazzy and raspy and sorry I'm with you. But, I'm with yeah. you. i agree that's where the vocals you know like it catches you in the beginning, but then it's it's the same vocal, the same vocal, mm -hmm. and it yeah. doesn't go in. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is Mugs. <laughs> <laughs> he can't help himself. <laughs> now we know who made you tea, Blanca. I made you tea, didn't he? Hey, you, you've, things, have, things have changed. Oh, Blanks, you're in the, there, you're in the driver's tea. seat now, man. No, boy, it's yeah. like, Merz, um, did he just come to see if your tea's finished yet? He's going to make you another cup. <laughs> get back in there and make another cup of tea. I must finish ghostwriting um, your next single, Ryan. Get the fuck, get the fuck, get the fuck. <laughs> okay, so Blanks, what do you give it out of, what do you give it out of 10? It's a six, eh? Six. Oof. Okay. All right. Costa. Okay. Costa. Became silent for a moment, went quiet, eh? Yeah. Is that a fourth question? What does discernible mean? Yeah, I was like, you, 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 I was like discernible, discernible. Because <laughs> what okay, does the so, word discernible mean? Discernible. So, in, in the song, if you listen to the song, there, yeah. there, are, no, there are no sections that you can tell yeah. that this is like... Discernible sections. Discernible, yes, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. Yes, what did I say? You was just teasing. I don't know me. what you said. But, you. but no, okay. no, it was a great word. I don't know what it meant. Now I know what it means. I was like, what? <laughs> like, so you, you stop talking. You were, I got a thesaurus out trying to work out what you're saying. <laughs> if you <laughs> have, if you have like a, if you have a song, I mean, especially I feel like that. Obviously, if it's a Spotify song, so you want yeah. it needs to be more. I'd say I don't want to say radio friendly, but I mean, you want to have sections in that song where. You know, yeah, the arrangement. It, it, it just feels like simple, it big, big up, yeah. there's chorus, yeah. there's all of these things, especially with, with. I feel like the vocal is hooky, very, yeah, because it literally like, sticks with you. Okay, sticks yeah. with you, and then immediately when you have a vocal like that, then you wanna, you know, you wanna go mm. wherever you wanna go with that vocal. Yeah, that's just my two cents. Costa, yeah. what do you think? I already did. It. Didn't I already start talking? I yeah, but but uh, we need a we need a vote no. from you. Oh, uh, vote. Okay, no. look. I mean, um, in terms of that record, it's difficult because I do like the record a lot, um, and um, I mean, I like. Yeah, but I agree. There is something about the arrangement that that it's not so much the arrangement 
it's about the way that the vocal comes in and the way it is. Because if there's going to be a super processed vocal that keeps going, like a, almost like a monotonous hook, yep, it has to be more solid and monotonous because it feels like it's changing a lot and there's no like constant to the actual little phrase that she keeps saying because it keeps like it feels like it gets too wonky in a way. Okay. Um, for me, I need I need to hear it again. Um, Out of ten. It's just so tough. Make it, make a, make a decision. You I have six see, minutes to tell us how you feel. I can see myself <laughs> in the reflection on my screen on your sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, uh, so, uh, my my sponsor today. Thank you, Sunglass Hat for my shades. Um, and yeah. Wow. And Krispy Kreme for the Krispy Kremes. Thanks so much. Forget about that. Um, out, out of 10, uh, yeah. out of 10, what do you give this? Um, I'm giving away Sunglass Hut vouchers for 400. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to have to go with a six uh, purely six. because the vocal disturbs me a bit. But look, it, it could become more. Yeah. So uh, it's a 19. A it's a 19 out of 30. All right. I mean, it's tricky because, I mean, I want to give it a seven, but I think I can't because... Of okay. how I feel about the vocal. Do you want to give it a half? I'm not saying that it's a bad vocal. Do you want to give it a half? Look, I, I'm, not say, don't give it a, I'm not saying it's a bad vocal. I'm not saying it's, yeah. you know, anything to the vocalist. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying together, it needs some work to blend better for me. You like That's the track. You think it could be better. Fair. Yeah. So is, do you guys... Is the track finished? Is it released? Is it going to be released? No, it... it's, it's, it's unreleased. It's an unreleased demo. It hasn't been mixed okay. yet. You know, it's, uh, okay. it's at that stage. So... I could feel... Uh, do you guys want to? Do you what guys want to know who it is? Yes. Any, anyone want to guess? H. Fat. I, I also think H. Fat. No, it's not Toya. Toya. No. Nope. Give us a clue. Give us a clue. Wait, wait, wait. Is, is, is it on? Is it on the roster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. What's her name now again? It okay, could even well, be like FKA Mash or something just fiddling around. You no, know, know, but, but no, no, I don't know. No, no. But yeah, but I know it would be. I think what it's, did it's so was, hard. Well, give it to me harder or what? Yeah, just, can you play it one more time? What? Play what it again. Like just play it, it for, no, no, just no. Play for a minute. No, no. Did the vocals say give it to me harder? It, it does. Give us another clue. Give us another clue. Uh, where, I mean, it, it'll is give he, it away. He, he, is it a he, he or it'll, she? It'll give it away. It'll give it away. It's a she. Give it away. No, give no, it away. No, no. Give it away now. Okay, so it's a he. Baby. Okay. <laughs> give it to me hard to baby. Oh, you know, it could be. It could be tall. Uh, I knew you'd get it. I actually thought you'd get it sooner. I, I knew it, it, could it but tall. I've got a tour story, actually. I've got a tour story about daisies. Thorix and, and Mother Baby. Yeah, there we go. And, it and, makes sense. Okay, but now that you've said that, now it makes that, so much I, sense. I, I understand because he is a weird motherfucker. And to <laughs> him... <laughs> no, but he's very Felix Lebandy, I think. Even his but live just, production. But that doesn't but make I, him Felix Leband. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. No, but, it's I, like, but, but I said but I it was Felix Lebandy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's also super raw. And the way that he does his production is based on super live, super recorded, super loose. So I understand that his, you know, his 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 process, this track is a little bit more like it's kind I, I, I can't explain it, but it's like a like the vocal is it's supposed to be that way. So it's a quick backstory. Would he I've got a wait. I've got a backstory. I think I have a backstory to this yeah, yeah. song. Daisies, I think it was 2016. Yeah. There was a Bantam Bucky with a mattress at the back. And the Bantam Bucky <laughs> was like was like doing this. And long story short, I think Tor was inside that Bantam Bucky. You think this is very accusatory. You must make sure. <laughs> this is years ago. Plus, I think I was I was I was on something, but I so <laughs> you're making this up. What is happening? You on someone? What is what is uh, going you, on? Were you on someone in the back of the bucky? I think something? we should call it. We're running out of time, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Thanks okay. for your time, guys. <laughs> it's been great. Costa, thank your sponsors. Now we're we're leaving. Uh, Ray Ban, uh, never hard. 
Hashtag never hard. Hashtag um, <laughs> uh, please go, go out there and buy our single that never made radio. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. Streams. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, be go sure to be single. Blanca Mastimela, get physical. Coming out, it's out at the moment. It's climbing the charts. Actually, it's out the charts. It is. It is. It is. No, it is. It's in the charts. Sorry. Anyone else okay, want to plug? Bye. Anyone? Anyone want to plug? Anything? Anything? Give it to me, hard to baby. Give it to me, hard to baby. Give it to me, give it.